So I noticed that I've been bringing in guys content on how to invest your money, how to save your money, what to do with your money. But one thing that I've noticed the other day was that most of us don't even have the money to invest in the first place or money to save or, you know, we just don't have the funds to work with in the first place. Now, when I was younger, the interesting thing was money came into my account and it left immediately. As soon as it entered my bank account, it left immediately. So now that I think about it, when I was younger, one thing I wish I knew wasn't how to spend money because I knew how to spend the money, but how to spend the money in the right way. Now, the thing is many of us say that we don't know how to use money or we don't know how to save money simply because we don't have enough to work with, which is fair enough, but it isn't exactly correct simply because someone like Mike Tyson, for example, he earned $300 million at one point and in a short space of time, he was $20 million in debt. Now, in a scenario like that, we can't use the excuse of saying we didn't have enough money because clearly he had enough money, but spending money in the wrong way is what leads us into that situation i'm gonna get into the reasons to why this continues to happen you know why we continue to stay broke no matter how much money we have why most of us are just in the same position we've been in for the past two years now if you find value in any of this content or in this content be sure to let me know down below in the comments and be sure to drop a like let's get right into it Now, the thing is, most of us get into debt simply because we choose to live a lifestyle of the people that we look up to. So we end up buying expensive shoes, we end up buying expensive clothes, but the problem is that we don't have the same lifestyle as they do. We don't earn the same money as they do. We don't know how they save, we don't know what they've done with their money. So we continue to spend money, but they might have saved money and they're spending money, but we can't see that part of their lifestyle. So that's the problem to why most of us continue to go broke because we just follow the social standard of spending money and trying to keep up with people. So the point where you're able to actually get over that barrier of having to keep up with people, your friends or your family, that is the point where you're gonna really notice that you just don't care about spending money anymore. So the thing is, debt is literally deliberate enjoyment before time. So the problem is that most of us just can't be patient enough to wait for the time where we blow up or we gain so much money to spend the money. We just end up spending this money before we have the money. Now don't get this twisted with investing or, you know, saving money or whatever the case is, because some people in this world have shown to, you know, they'll get into debt and they'll flip this to make them you know, millions and millions and millions, but that's actually using debt in a good way. And most people don't know how to do this. So we can't actually, you know, we can't use this as an excuse saying, cool, we're in debt because we try to do this and that. Of course, some people try and they fail, but I know for a fact that you, or whoever you are, probably got into debt simply because you're just spending money recklessly, or you choose to loan money to spend on something that isn't gonna make you money. And now you choose to pay that money back, but, you know, things don't go as planned. Now, one major, major thing to why most of us are just losing money is simply because we forget that inflation is a thing in this world. A pound then isn't a pound now, five pounds then isn't five pounds now. So inflation is always a thing that's gonna continue to happen. And the only way to keep up with inflation is by saving your money that will give you money back in return to keep up with inflation or to beat inflation, whatever the case is. So we are able to keep up with inflation by simply investing money into either stocks or some sort of asset, which will continue to, you know, grow. So an example of this could be, you know, the stock market and investing into dividends or whatever the case is, they'll continue to make you money and you know you get 10 percent back every year but just something that will give you money back in return and you know most people that are also wealthy also do things like real estate investing because we know houses back then might have been way cheaper and now it's significantly more expensive so that's a perfect way of seeing that assets are keeping up with inflation that's the major major thing that we have to do do not just keep cash you know a large amount of cash at home doing nothing because eventually over years and years and years the money won't be of the same value besides that your money isn't making you money so why would you have a ton of cash at home just for the sake of you know enticing yourself it's not worth it invest your money into something that will make you more money back that's just a smart way to go about it now another thing that most of us should know already is that having multiple sources of income is just it's just a necessity you can't have a you know a single job nine to five or whatever the case is and you know try to grow off that unless it's a job like let's say you're a lawyer doctor something that's really really high earning so you're making like half a mil a year something like that then fair enough you know but only a handful of people are in that category of things but besides from those half you know those handful of people most of us just have to have some sort of side hustle we just have to do things that'll make us more money 
on the side when we're not doing our day-to-day -day jobs so this can be side hustles you know um night, night shifts or whatever or weekend jobs you know washing cars just something that will make you money ideally what you want to do is you want to have some sort of side hustle or passive income if you get what i mean so you need to have some sort of job or some sort of income that will come to you while you're asleep you want to be sleeping and making money that is how i believe that's what i believe is the key that's what i'm aiming for making money while you sleep is just the only way to gain financial freedom one other thing to always consider to always have from a very young age until you're 50 40 just as, as you continue to grow one thing you should always do is track your expenses track your expenses track your expenses and track your expenses no matter how much you think you know in your head or you believe yeah you you know you've taken note of that one pound that you spend no try to actually actively check your expenses every single day every single you know a couple of days just to know where your money is going and what money is coming into your account the importance of knowing what money comes into your account is because if you're getting random money coming into your account you want to put this money to work you want to make this money do something for you so the best thing you can do is say you have a bunch of money you want to obviously now figure out that you can only spend or you should try to stick to only spending 50 percent of your income you know that includes expenses and anything try to always save at least 50 percent at least 50 percent so save this into you know the stock market put this into you know your business some sort of asset some just something and if you continue to do this every year you will notice some form of compound interest and this is where you know you can have that big smile in your face because when you gain compound interest especially when you start from a young age that is when you know you, you can now blow up that is when you're making money in your sleep that's when you're making money for money that you're not working for and going back to tracking your expenses you want to know that every single penny is adding up you know that four pound that you spend one day then you spend another four pounds three days later in your head that's you might not notice that that is eight pounds gone but obviously you just believe you're spending four 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 pounds here and there but it's adding up then eventually you realize that in one week you're spending about 15 pounds then deep you know notice how that much that would be in four weeks in four weeks you're spending 60 pounds then you know that just continues to increase and increase and spending 60 pounds a week on like food for example isn't wise you know if you're saving 30 pounds 60 pounds every single week now that's a major difference so you have to track your expenses every time no matter what you purchase and obviously just try to never ever eat out as in on a daily basis anyway try to not buy you know coffee or you know breakfast and all those little things if you can do make it yourself because these are the things that add up every single time every single day that eventually you know finesse our money basically now i can go on and on and on but one last thing that i would say is you know aim to start a business aim to start something and you know if you're someone that already has a business then one thing i'll recommend is that you need to have a business you make the money but you need to reinvest the money that's the problem to why most businesses don't work because you start the business you know it could be a hair business or nails or something small right you're making the money but then you don't re exactly reinvest the money there's no point in making money spend the money then you know you're putting nothing back because when you put things back into your business that's what causes your business to expand you know like people like elon musk or you know jeff bezos if they just made the money and spent the money then there would there's no way that you would have seen the progression that they've had you know from when they first started up to this point so the key thing is that whatever business you have just make sure you invest in almost everything just try to invest everything back especially when you're first starting try not to spend a penny keep putting it back into your business over and over again and you will notice in like a simple year your business can grow exponentially so that's just one thing i like to let you guys know try to invest your money every single time try not to spend basically be a financial minimalist that's the whole point the less you can save the more you'll probably make trust me on that the less well the less you can spend <laughs> the more you will make here yeah, and that's what i meant the less you spend the more money you will pretty much make because you just have a lot more money to work with that you can save that you can put into things to make you more money that's the important thing that's one thing you should at least take away from this video today now that's a wrap i do appreciate you guys being here again today if you did find any value in this video then be sure to let me know down in the comments below be sure to also you know drop a like you know it cost you nothing it cost you literally nothing to do so down below in the comments let me know what you guys think you could have done better when you were younger or one thing you wish you knew whilst you were younger or you know whatever whatever year or last year or two years ago just be sure to let me know down in the comments thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys next week